All right, YouTube and preppers, time for an update. Remember the garden that I wanted to get planted? It's planted. There it is. 16 feet by 16 feet, one foot deep. Uh, filled in with topsoil. And uh, that got finished up on Sunday, and I got it planted today. So food is well on its way. We look down in the end where I planted tomatoes and peppers some of them are looking too good but they just went in this morning they will come back uh, fear not as soon as we get some rain supposed to maybe get some rain tonight uh, tomorrow and then definitely the next few days is going to be raining so uh, yeah everything will come back it's not to worry they look a little wilted now but it's no big deal now, as for fruit and nut trees, I said I wanted to do those too, and we did get some done. Right here we have two Radisson grapevines. Zoom right in, see if we can catch some buds. You see they are budding, so they're coming along. These are bare root trees that I ordered. Uh, yeah, these uh, Radisson grapes were three foot vines, they called them. And yeah, easily three feet. I also got a couple of Thompsons here, kind of hard to see other than the tag. These were one foot vines, so these might take a couple more years to start producing, but they are here and in the ground. Now, let's keep going and keep taking a look. Uh, for aesthetic purposes only, I did plant a little lilac tree right there. It was a one-footer when I got it, and uh, it's probably blooming the best of all of them. I'm not blooming, but sprouting the best of all of them. Uh, it's really come out. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with that one. Anyway, we'll keep going up the driveway. We'll do a little tour, show everybody what we've done. And I got the car mats out on the ground because the car is being traded in tomorrow pulled out the ham radio that was in it and uh, we'll get that switched out tomorrow do another install on a ham radio uh, there's the rhubarb this year it's gone to seed already it does that sometimes just hack it down it'll come back the blueberry that I brought over from the other place and transplanted has now come back uh, and it's gonna start uh, growing that's uh, doing a pretty good job as you can see, we're into June and the driveway is finally cleared up, nice and dry. A little wet still in the back, but uh, it's actually a lot better this year than it was last year. Uh, I don't know if I can actually even get in there to show you. Let's see if I can spot a tag. Right there, we have a little one foot... Um, what do they call them? I keep trying to call them bar nuts, but they're not bar nuts. They're uh, hazelberts. There's three of them planted in there. Uh, yeah, this is all covered with undergrowth and stuff, but uh, put them in there anyway. The three of those will grow about 12 feet tall. Uh, they produce a nut that's halfway, kind of a mix of a hazelnut uh, and a filbert. You can see a little bit of water here as we get to the back, but it's, it's pretty much, most of it's dried up. They'll get about 12 feet tall, and uh, each one of those, uh, they don't even call them trees, they call them bushes at that point, will uh, produce a few kilos of nuts. Of course, it'll take a few years, but it will happen. Let's see if I can zoom up there and you can see it. Right there, we've got a uh, call it apple. So the fruit trees have gone in. Uh, up there, can I spot it with the camera? Can't find that white tag on the screen, but trust me, it's up there. Uh, in total, I've got three apple trees and two pear trees up there. Uh, I think this is going to be another one of the apples right over there. You can see the white tag on it. That tree is budding out really nicely. There's a couple more down over there. 
And in addition, of course, to all the blackberry and raspberry that is growing wild up there, uh, which is really awesome. Also, there's, uh, if I spot some for you on the ground here, I'll, I'll show it for you, but there's, there's wild strawberry growing out in the rocks all over the place here. Herbs, 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 herbs. And I got a couple more herbs to plant still. I got a couple of uh, oreganos this morning uh, when I was running around town. I stopped in for a couple of flowers for a pot. I saw oregano. I didn't have any. I thought I had some, but it died down. It grew up this year because it is a, a perennial. Not an annual. Oh, there's a wild strawberry right there. And I thought I saw it sprouting up in the box this year, but when I went back to take a look, it was a goner. Now here you can see I've started cleaning out one or two of these smaller dead trees. Still got some cutting to do. Uh, but right there is a black walnut. Right over there is another black walnut right there and there's a third one in here somewhere these, these black walnuts are all to replace all these dead trees that are here there's five of them that I have to cut down with a permit can't get a permit from the city for love or money right now that's a whole other story there's another black walnut these black walnuts were planted yes to replace these dead trees when they do come down but also as an investment because the house is being left to the kids uh, and the stepkids and uh, they can use it as a country place and uh, they can use those black walnuts to help fund projects or whatever black walnut is uh, quite a valuable wood there's another call it apple tree like I said there's three apple trees and two pear trees up there in addition to that awesome uh, plum tree that's there. So that's the update. I promised you guys when I got some stuff done, I would uh, come out and show it to you. And there it is. And some more of that wild strawberry there. It really just grows in the rocks like weeds. It's great. And yeah, some of these rocks, especially down there, the picnic area that I set up, all those rocks, I'm just going to let everything just grow right up and uh, cover over in grass or whatever grows there. Start mowing it after a while, but uh, for now, just starting to let it grow up and, and spread a little bit. I really don't care if it's weeds or grass or wild raspberry or strawberry or whatever grows back there as long as it grows. But I thought I'd give you guys a, a quick update. In case you thought I said I was going to do all this stuff and forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. It is getting done. Slowly but surely. Things are busy here. Uh, lots of other stuff to concentrate on. And uh, yeah, but I did find some time to get my fruit trees planted. And my garden built and planted. So that's where we are for right now. Uh, this water that sits here. This will probably have to wait until next year to get done. Uh, I'm not even sure what's going on there. Uh, at this point, I'm not even 100% sure where the property line is. It's in here somewhere, the property line. I'm not quite sure exactly where, but we'll hire a tractor in next year. We'll dig a trench all the way along this rock wall to the corner of our property and then down and put it into, send it into the ditch instead of sitting here like this. Whoever graded this property, uh, they sloped the driveway up and then instead of keeping it flat at the top here, oh, school buses are going by, kids will be home soon. Instead of keeping this area flat, it seems to have dipped down a little bit, uh, which is why we got standing water here and there. Uh, but this year it's a lot better than it was last year. <coughs> ah, I swallowed a bug. Yummy. Protein. And that's it. So, uh, 
keep prepping folks don't stop do your projects get them going oh wow this is going to be what is this this is either blackberry or black raspberry one of the two uh, but look at the blooms on that that's going to be awesome and uh, right there's my property marker it's the edge of my property so they're starting to creep into my property which means I can pick them and I will be I'll be encouraging these to come out a little bit further that one's only out about an inch on my side uh, but they do spread through the roots so they will be coming onto the property we're gonna make a nice all this edge right along here from uh, the garbage bins we'll do two three feet let them grow right up right beside where the car is all the way along we'll let a nice bramble grow right out there it's uh, having these naturally is uh, is awesome they were here on the property when we bought it and uh, we're having a hoot with uh, with the berries coming in everywhere it's really great anyway like I said before, keep your projects going. Keep moving forward. The bombs aren't dropping yet, despite what some YouTubers may want to have you believe. Uh, been a couple of years of threats of nuclear war. It hasn't happened. So I think you still got time. If you got projects in mind, get them done. Because, uh, you know, the end of the world ain't necessarily right around the corner. In the meantime, be prepared, Canada. It's a tough world out there.